Hey, it's Shug here. You want to know the question I get the most lately? It's this. Uh, Shug, what are those little tables that you have around camp? Where can I get one and how much do they cost? Well, they're from a little German company called Schwarzerbiene, which means black bee. They're expensive. This is uh, German engineering. Uh, Tommy and his wife developed this company. I'd say the one called the uh, Shorty, the one I've got my cook stove on right now. Got my hillbilly pot and my fancy feast. Uh, that is the actual tabletop and the poles that come with it. I, I like them because they're aluminum. They're cool. They're stamped. There's a lot of options that go with them. Are they for everybody? No. Are they for me? Yeah. I, I grew to really like mine. Hey, shoes, yeah. Uh, years ago, him and his buddy Christian, they sent me this little one. You've probably seen this in my videos a lot. And this, they were just making for fun. Uh, it wasn't even a business yet. This one is called the, um, the Shorty. It's the smallest one. And, you know, there's my whole cook kit sitting on it right there. And this one that I have is called the Best Buddy. It comes with these two little, tiny little uh, shot glasses. And, you know, that's something you could bring down by the water in the summertime, stick it in, you don't have anywhere level to put your drink, and you got a place to put your bottle of scotch or lemonade or whatever and pour little shots. And this add-on, this disconnects, this is called the universal holder. You know, you got little hangers on it so you could hang things, but I think it's really for putting your phone on if you want to sit and watch a movie or whatever. There's the universal adapter, which has these two little Oh, I don't know, thumb screws, you call them right here. I can just take those off. And this is how you add it. So it's an add-on piece. Right there. Boom. Right here I have the best buddy sitting on a wooden dowel because I have their connector on there called the Woody. And uh, just for instance, I have this stick sort of whittled down right here. So if you don't want to use the poles or carry that along, you can just whittle yourself a stick in the woods and use that little connector right there, which will fit all his little tables. And that just comes right off. So that is a separate piece right there that you can buy extra if that appeals to you the woody and I took this stick and I had carved it and there's a little set screw in there that you screw in to kind of tighten up against the stick and you can be a little sloppy with it and it's big enough that you don't have to find the skinniest little stick in the world put it right on up there tighten it up and with this I got me like a high table that I can set stuff on. You know, I do like this now that the, the poles break down into little segments. You get like three of those. So of course, you know, if you just want to use one segment to screw your top in and have it kind of short, you can do that. Or second level or third level. Gives you a lot more options on the height you want the table sitting at. Now in snow, like I am now, I just build a snow pile and I stick that down in it. And like a stake, it'll set up in a little bit. This little item right here is called the baggie. It works as a carrying case, a holding case in your pack, and um, just works as a good little catch-all to keep, keep throwing stuff in while you're sitting around camp, you know, just toss all kind of stuff in there. Pretty handy. So hanging that baggie, uh, you can see underneath it's got a hole that the that the pole goes through and you have these little bungees here and a little cinch tie that you can undo to hook it on and change the length or sometimes I've noticed I like to have the front kind of leaning out a little bit like that so I just keep throwing things in there but you just sort of take the whole thing off and then put your cinch back on which I'm going to try to do here without my glasses 
not too hard he's got the ends burned off and so that's how you attach that see I thought this was really nice there's the hole with the grommet that goes up and attaches and there's even a little flap there so everything is engineered nicely and there's a little sleeve in here you can see right here so when you take apart your pole right there in the three sections and that'll just slip right into that sleeve right here so very well thought out velcro to put it all together and then here's the best buddy on its own and then that will just fit right in there put that right in there and that let's just say with these pieces fold it in and uh, use this as a carrying case inside your pack What was cool about that little baggie down there on my last winter trip, I, I brought it to put my tables in because I wanted to bring them along. I just used it around camp every night. I put it up under my hammock. I had it by my breakfast from the hammock in the morning. And it was just my catch-all for knife, headlamp, uh, batteries, candle lantern, just all the little things I was using throughout the day. Well, as long as I'm out here, I might as well have myself a little cocoa from the hammock on the little table. Yes, indeed. Lit and done. Get the smudge off my bit like pot and I like the uh, shorty because it's just enough size to hold me cook kit but mainly it keeps that fancy feast from melting in that snow and then just kind of tipping and it's dumping all my water that is a heartbreaker the little table totally totally a luxury item. Yeah, you can go to the website for all the specs as far as that goes. For me, I love it. It's not that heavy, but you know, backpacking, everybody makes choices on what they want to carry or what they don't want to carry. So with that said, am I trying to sell you? No, not really. I'm trying to show you because where else would you see it? Because you keep asking because you see it in my video. So maybe that's the one place to see it. So I see I got myself a pretty boil going here. Mm hmm. We get that cocoa going. Yes, sir. Hmm. That'll do me. Woo, buddy. All secure in Sector 7. If you want to take a listen to a podcast where we talk about some hammocks, some barbecue, I was with Chad on the Sasquatch Backpacking Podcast. They make big cool. All the links will be in the description box below this video.